Welcome everyone. This is where we're at thus far. Uh, I say this this light has been bugging me. So before I get into trying to do step 18, which is where we're at now, I'm going to see if I can get the fix in to get that light to look a little more proper. So let's kind of take it out and hopefully my plan, which I think is going to end up being a little sketchy, is to Cut this paper clip up and make it into the appropriate shape and remove the heat shrink and put the paper clip through the middle <laughs> and then reapply the heat shrink. And uh, I would rather have a finer paper clip, but I do not appear to have one. So I may end up doing this a third time. If I do, I'll do it off camera and let you see how it works out. But with that being said, I'm going to, let's see here. What am I the first thing I'm going to do? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm go going to attempt to get the heat wrap, heat shrink off without cutting the wires. That's <laughs> job one. <laughs> and if not, I'll, job two will be repairing the wires. <laughs> I think I've got a little room there, though. Just get it scored a little bit. Oh. Get it back in center frame. <laughs> Let me try from this, uh, this side. Though. Okay. Spread those guys out. Okay, there it goes. Get it, get it started. Yeah, okay. So far, I don't see any copper there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Still don't see any copper on the wires. Now it should be far enough. Oh yeah, that's not. It's got that. I just remember it's got the. Uh, I guess the housing or whatever you call it at the end. Okay. And just a little bit more. See if I can do this without slicing my finger open. That'll be enough to, yeah, I got it, I think. All right, got that off. And a quick look. I don't see any shiny copper stuff, so I don't believe I cut the, the insulation. That's what I wanted. Put this blade away before I do cut something I don't want to cut. <laughs> Namely myself. Okay, so <clears throat> that was two and a half centimeters on that part, and that worked good. It seemed to be enough. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get the blade back out. <laughs> Clip. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to put some behind the platform to support the extra weight that this is gonna put in it. So I'm gonna go do for 
three and a half on this, I think. Like that, it's good. I mean, I may have to drill that hole out a little bit bigger too, but so extra centimeter should be good. Let me. Okay, I do have a. Yes, but tap on that so I know where to cut it. Second and cut. Well, those got to come out. This here. And I need that at some other point, and I do also want to make sure I'm going to mark the, this end so I know that's the. The jagged end. I want to make sure I put that outside and it's not inside the wire where it might rub and cut. So, okay. So, let me get back to my cutters up and go back a couple of pages. See, looks like. Okay, so it's supposed to come out. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> and I see I'm trying to figure out how this is gonna work now. It's gonna go in here, hopefully, these, this, the shrink, and hope the shrink wrap is big enough to go over that too. <laughs> so that'll go down. Okay, then this will go inside between the wires, I guess. Hopefully. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make it go all the way down to the lampshade. Okay. Now, if everything goes right, <laughs> do my. Got our reinforcement through there. Got enough to go through the wall, hopefully. Like I said, I think I'm about to get my drill out and make a hole a little bit bigger because I've added that extra mass in there, but fingers crossed it'll work out all right. And let's see how this goes. <laughs> so I just kind of thread these wires back through the hole there. Let's see how we are with space and go from that. Okay. And that to it. It's snug. Oops, got the wires. That's going to work as is. I say I'll going to bend this up now. 
before, well, before I, because it has got a little point on it there. I'm mm-hmm. going to cut myself on if I'm not careful. Actually, no, I don't have, <coughs> my, my Dremel's downstairs, so I'm not going to go down to do that right yet. I may do that off camera to just blunt that edge. Like I said, I think this would work much better with the smaller gauge paper clip. But that's what I've got handy. Now let's see how this works. I'm just going to use the... Uh, yeah, it shows up there where it's got the chunk there where it combined all the wires. That's where I'm going to bend it at. So, grab two sets of needle nose. <laughs> And one. Okay. <laughs> Space is an issue. Let's see if I can uh, leverage on it's an issue. Okay. Okay. Get back in there. Longer ones now. Okay. Okay. That is much better. I'm very much more pleased with that. And now I need to find something to bend this back up with. <laughs> I don't know if these will do here or not. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. All right, getting close to me. Oh, that's too much. Need find. I've got a plan. Got to find a small piece to stop. The, yeah, I'm just turn the. Got an old piece of sandpaper here. I'm going to turn around so it's not <laughs> the sandpaper part is not showing that there to predict my sign. See if I can get, nope, can't get around it on that. I'm gonna need some wire pliers. All right, I am gonna have to go downstairs and get some more tools, but I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've got the proper tools to do this where I don't poke myself with that sharp piece of metal <laughs> sticking up right there. But, got a piece of cardboard, wood clamp, a couple of the old tools that, whoop, that I've been using and I think I can make this work so I'm going to put my cardboard over my sign so I don't mess it up <laughs> piece of wood there to also protect the paint <laughs> and try and hold this sort of in place <laughs> and Bring the clamp in before I and I think no, I'm still good. Not too far. And one more hand. <laughs> okay, you're still on top of there. You're gonna go. I'm breaking my. Oops. A little window box or whatever off there. Okay, and I think that did it. Yep. Sort of. <laughs> I got <it>. Nah. <laughs> I just pushed it back over that way. <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. I will. The next stamp to protect me from hurting myself <laughs> is. I can find I don't use their little electrical tape patches <laughs> so I'll just take one of those <laughs> and 
sort of wrap it around there and like so. <laughs> so that rough edge is exposed. I've got what I consider an acceptable, <laughs> much better looking, more level. It's not level, but it's much better than it was. <laughs> and stable. All right. Oop, and I bent my that thing, but that's, I think that'll be all right. Put our window box back in place. Wait, where'd you go? Okay. All right. I think that's a much improved situation. <laughs> All right. Now, got that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice and I'm not going to break them and put the guardrails in place and see how that goes. <laughs> So it goes in like this. These are just supposed to just think drop in, but yeah. And then this goes with a little point out because there's a, a a notch for it there. We get the handy dandies for that. I'll just do a dry fit right now and see how that goes. Okay. Famous last words. Easier said than done. Let's do maybe try from this side. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Need a probe. Okay, so you go on there, and this goes back in these. And let go before you. <laughs> and then that is in there. All right, so there. So the corner, they're sort of holding each other in. Okay, and now I'm going to do the dupes. Oop, I missed this one. Oh, get in there. Okay. Yeah, still... Okay, oop. Yeah, pull it back out. Had too much caffeine this morning, a little shaky. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the dupes from the outside. Sort of let the hopefully that glue will let gravity do its thing. This one. And then one more at the, here. Uh -huh. And I've come out of my. Oops. you do. 
Right, that stuff dries pretty clear, so I'm not too worried about it, but I do have a toothpick so I can sort of break the surface tension and force it in to its holes a little bit. That one went in pretty good. <laughs> and all right. All right, now I'm going to let that set up and I'll come back and we'll start on step 18 and I I thought I was going to do two steps today, but I guess with this little sidetrack I, detour I did, is going to be, we will just do the one step 18 today. So, I'll be right back with that. Okay, okay, I'm back and we are ready to start on step 18 now. I've got all the pieces, there's the only pieces that need painting. And I, well, <laughs> forgot I moved, but... That was, you know, just the chair was all the parts we had to paint for this one, so. Actually, okay, and I'm going to need some dupes on here. I'm going to try and stay clear of the, whoop, oh, too much. <laughs> Fair amount of clearance away from the holes. Don't want to get any interference with the, the glue comes out, if the glue comes out the other side. <clears throat> but that... Don't do it like that. <laughs> Drop it in. Line it all up. Okay, I think. Lined up on there. I think they're all, that one might be a little bit off the thing. I think it's within tolerance. That one looks like it's had a little overlap, but okay. Now we take these little pegs. They go up, whoops. <laughs> Ooh, that hole. And this one. This guy goes on to those. Well, that lines up good there. Excellent. All right. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, let me take our table leg goes down in that one and our table goes on top of this one what? all right now this one has a potential to be a little bit messier because I'm a so I'm going to use my pad here. It's da -da -da -da. Seems like it should be straightforward, but I want to make sure I'm... <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I think... Either side... Oh. Better or worse there. I think they actually did a pretty good job. I thought I had a little... Uh, it all faded in together pretty good. So I'm good on that. I had a little extra. I mean, I didn't show up on camera, but when I painted, I got some splash over there. But it, it, like I, said, I think it blended in pretty well. I was going to make sure I put that on the inside. Okay. So I'm going to do a little loop there. A little loop there. And 
This should just in theory slide into those notches. Okay, yep, there it went. And do it like that until I get the other one on. <laughs> Side. Okay, and then okay, there it goes. <laughs> Obviously, we'll have to let that one get situated. Oh, or it does. Let me make sure I get these done. I didn't break it, but I disassembled it. Okay. Okay, now, let's see if I can get these, get the armrests on without tearing the whole thing apart. <laughs> Slide them up against that back. Oop, stay down. Slide them against the edge and the back. And some sort of. Symmetrical. All right. All right. Now, set that aside. We've got another light going. Got our lamp post thing here, and it's just okay. So it's gonna go. little circle Pull you all the way through and then the, got a little peg on the end to pop through and back up through this circle Just let the glue on these dry, and I'll mount the chair, and I think that'll actually finish us up for the day. I think it, yeah, that does finish 18, so I'll be right back with that. All right, I think it's dried enough to manipulate now. I don't, probably not totally cured, but got our chair up. It's, for, for what it is, it's a nice little chair. Dog just heard me and started whining for some reason. But <laughs> All right, now this is supposed to go into these two holes here. 
Okay. The arm goes underneath there. Appears. Alright, there and there. Yeah, the arm, as you can see there, it falls underneath the tables. And it got the light right there. I guess it must be a reading light the way they got it set up. <laughs> okay, we are getting our scene together now. I'm, I'm feeling it. That's a, I thought the, you know, I, I guess in my head I thought the street lamp was going to be bigger. It's just that much taller than the chair. <laughs> I like that. But I'd say that's, that's a nice little scene. And that officially completes step 18. And uh, like I said, I'm also pleased with the way that has turned out. Like I said, it doesn't look as good as the picture does. It's got the crinkles in it. It may not show up on camera. But I think it does look, it is a considerable improvement over the first attempt. I would probably advise using trying to find a smaller paper clip than I use. I've got my hand drill in place there too. And that glue has appeared to have dried on as well. Yeah, everything was... It has been... I know it is because I, I watched a movie in between. I didn't realize Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was already on Disney+, Plus, so I had to stop everything and watch that. <laughs> this is going to end up back here somewhere, but we got to do some more work on it before we actually install it. It'll go like... So, no, it's got to go like, like so. <laughs> but, anyway, that's where we're going to stop it today. So, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all of that. Be good to one another, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.